saw this time that we are in right now um, two years ago. And the time that we are in right now is that we don't have enough monetary resources to do the things that have to get done. And we're not talking about the things we think should get done. We're talking about the things that have to get done, right? Like about everybody up here today has said, our children have to be educated. And we are at a time right now where we are strapped on money resources to make sure that that happens effectively. But the resource that we know we are not strapped for, and the resource that I worked so hard to get um, all New Yorkers to believe, the one that we will not run out of, right, is this resource that we all have something to offer. All of us have something that we can give to one another. And if we choose to, I have, my campaign is called Use Your Blank for Good. If all of us choose to identify our blank and we choose to use it and give it to someone else who needs it, that is the resource we will not run out of. And we will meet our needs if enough of us do that. So I thank you today because I know I am speaking to the people who you have identified your blank and you use it for good and you do it every day and you are helping us to meet pressing needs, so thank you. Um, I also know that I have been a volunteer. I um, know that it is not always pretty. And in fact, most days are not like this morning when all the big shots care. I know that there are many days when you walk into school and you have those moments. I have those moments where I'm thinking, I'm not even sure that what I'm doing matters. I'm not even sure that I see the difference, I see the impact. And so um, right before I do this volunteer countdown, because it is time to go, it is freezing in here, um, I just want to say, um, I want to just leave you with something that I hope inspires you on those days, on those mornings, on those afternoons when you don't feel like doing what you're doing and all of the important people are not lined up to cheer you on. Um, I am a product of New York City public schools up until elementary school. When I was coming through school, my mom could not find a school that she thought was good enough for her baby. And so I went through a program prep for prep and began to go to independent schools from middle school on. And uh, Prep for Prep changed my life. Going to independent schools changed my life. Council Member Jackson spoke about education be the, being the great equalizer, and there's not many more statements that are truer than that. Um, that being said, it was, I had enough friends, and I lived in the community enough to know that, and I worked at Prep enough to know that a program that impacts 150 kids per year leaves a lot of our kids that need to have great schools. Um, and whether this makes some people happy or not, one of the movements that I have worked with is the charter school movement to open up some different types of schools in some of our neighborhoods because our kids deserve them and they deserve answers right now. But when all of that was said and done, and just to give you that story that I hope will keep you moving on during the hard days, when all of that is said and done, what I am, right, my day, my day job is chief service officer, but my tell people, I even tell the mayor, my full-time job is being a mother. Um, and in, um, in 1998, my son was born, and we didn't know it at the time, but he was born deaf. And so as I learned, I figured out what was going on, and by two, everybody here knows, you go through all these systems in the public schools, and when finally enough people agreed with me, which is hilarious, um, I, said, I realized he was deaf, and um, one of the most frightening moments for a parent is when you think, maybe my child needs something, and I don't have what it takes to provide them with it. And I don't know, I'm very, really scared. I was raised in Fort Greene, Bedside, Brooklyn. Very little things scare me, but I was scared at that moment. Um, and as we took my son to St. Francis de Sales School for the Deaf, it was a volunteer parent who sat down with me, and it was the first moment I wasn't scared. The first moment. 
So when you think about, I'm not making a difference, these kids are crazy, I don't like the principal, this teacher's the worst, who appointed this parent coordinator? I, you know, when you're thinking about all of that stuff, right? Think about me as that parent sitting down and it was just that one volunteer that stopped the fear. Um, and I hope you will think about that and it'll push you on a little bit further. I'm also happy to say my Roddy Heads is a great kid and he has gotten, even though he is special ed, he has gotten threes and fours every year on standardized testing. Because of, because of volunteers, it took extra time, it took extra tutoring, it took speech therapy, and I'm not gonna lie, it is also because of me, because I'm a great mother, <laughs> but, <laughs> but it is because of the people that worked with him, and it is because of people before I had a campaign, before I had a slogan, before there was an NYC service, that chose to use their blank for good. So I thank you for doing that. And so now, on to the most important part of the show. Everybody ready? Y'all got to, you have to wake up, because this is the point where you do stuff. So, and now it is my pleasure and my honor to conduct your volunteer countdown this year. Woo! Oh, and you know what I didn't do? Hold on a minute. Because we go hard. And y'all were kind of light this morning. Is Brooklyn in the house? Woo! We're gonna, Mindy, we gotta work on our Brooklyn numbers. Okay, um, but there you go. I know the countdown is a tradition here and I'm excited to have been helped to ask, acknowledge your service. I've been asked to help acknowledge your service. Um, if you are now a learning leader and have volunteered for one year or less, I would ask you to please stand. Let's give them a round of applause. Don't be ashamed. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for committing to the service of students throughout the city. Now what about the volunteers, the people who have been learning leaders for two to four years? You all look great. Next year, for those of you three and four years, I would tell learning leaders you'd like your own section, okay? <laughs> um, if you have been a learning leader for five to nine years, would you please stand? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Where, where are the 10 to 14 year volunteers? Woo! I couldn't have been in that last group because I'm only 25. If, if you volunteered for 15 to 19 years, please stand. Wow, wow. Wow, thank you, thank you so much. Now, can we have all the volunteers who have given 20 or more years stand and be recognized. Wow. All of those volunteers, if you could remain standing, you need to, we'd like to give you a sticker so that we can give you a gift when you're headed out. Again, if you've received a sticker, and be honest, 
If you received a sticker on your way out today, please, uh, there'll be a gift for you um, near, the, near the exit way. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for your service. And I wish you all the best. Diane Billings Burford, thank you so much. With moms like her, parent volunteers like her, and all of you, we can't lose. Well, now I want to invite Jalitza Vasquez, Director of Programs for Learning Leaders, to come out and help me with the raffle, because somebody in here is going to win something. Hello. Hi. All right. So thank you also to Perscolas for the generous donation of a computer and some Staples gift cards. Staples is having a sale, so these gift cards are going to come in handy. So if you have the winning ticket, redeem the prize at the table in the lobby. All right. First prize for the computer. 577422. Where is... All right. Nice. All right. So we'll write down computer on that ticket, right? I'm trying to be efficient here. All right, second prize, Staples gift card, 577-715. 715. Going once. Where? All right. Excellent. Okay, congratulations. Third prize, also a Staples gift card, 577-131. Gotcha. All right. Congratulations. Fourth prize, a Staples gift card. Staples was very generous. 577-698. Winner? Here she goes. All right. And fifth and last prize, also a Staples gift card. 577-122. Gotcha. All right. Congratulations. Well, thank you all so much for coming. This concludes the Learning Leaders 2010 opening meeting. Thank you so much for having me. Have a wonderful day.